baby, you blew me back. And you still blow me back on a constant. You did not have to show me this beautiful time that you did. We vibed. We kicked it. We was blowing. We was kicking it. We was having some grown folks time. Some grown folks fun. We was cussing and cutting cutting up you understand me i mean it was like i was with somebody that i had known for a long time i was truly it was it wasn't like i didn't give a damn about what you did for a living i didn't give a damn about who you know who know you da 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 your fan club base i wasn't even on none of that okay i was just enjoying this personal time with a friend just as you received me and once I had once I had put it on Facebook that I was in Vegas, then you know Tisha and you know and some more of my girls and, and, and a couple of fellas, you know, was hitting me up like, man, you down the street. Oh my God, we need to, you know what I'm saying, let's hook up, let's have a meet and greet and yada yada yada. Well, I did not want to disrupt the chief. I did not want to because I know that he wasn't in he wasn't in that space. You know, he was trying to get away from L.A., get away from all that. And, you know, that's why when we went out, it was actually, it was in the middle of the night when we went out. When we went out and, like, uh, my boy Carl, he was like, well, Tina, I was looking, I was looking at, I was looking at people looking at y'all. And I'm looking at how y'all, you know, and I'm looking. And it was, it was fun because, and it made it on the video. And we were walking and it, it was these, these white guys, they were sit, kind of sitting to the side or whatever. You know, some people, you know, people, you know, people wasn't really paying us no attention. Some people was, but some people wasn't paying us no attention. It's like, whatever. You know, so, um, these white guys, they said something about she has a nice ass. Or something about my ass. Listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> so, he was like, huh? What is that? You know what I mean? So, he, would, he, he talked on it. You know what I mean? He didn't give a damn if they heard it or whatever. You know what I mean? He was like, baby, you know, they just said this right here so i was like oh for real you know i was like man that's crazy because you know i you know but hey it is what it is <laughs> it is what it is but you know oh my god 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 uh but did y'all see how baby was creeping up on my ass while i was in that tub though i was like wait a minute, why are you all crunched all down and all low and shit what is that you know what I mean? Look how he got the camera angle all low and shit. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. It was a girl's. Oh my God. Oh my God. We were so booed up. Oh my God. <laughs> Baby, we was booed up on 10. Do you understand me? I was like, oh my God. I felt like I was 20. I really did. I felt like I was 20 years old. I was literally 20 years old. And across the street from the Palms, I was at, we were at the Palms place. Now, Palms have two different sections. They have the section where um, you can, it's like actually like housing, like condos. That's where we was at in the, in the, in the more, a little bit more like, I don't, I don't want to say so much it's exclusive, but it kind of is though. Because over there is, you know, the Kardashians, they have like a whole little section, like a whole floor in the um, Palms place. It's not Palms Palace. I know a couple people are saying, oh, that's Palms Palace. No, that's not Palm's Palace. That's Palm's Place. And one of my girls was like, oh, I stay at Palm's Palace all the time. I said, oh, Lord. Mama, it's not Palm's Palace. It's Palm's Place. But anyway, but um, um, but over there where we were at, it's like a whole little, you know, yeah, some, some of them over there. And it's, they just walk around like regular. They, they actually lease them out. And, you know, some of, some celebrities and stuff just stay there. So, that's just like, it's, it's like a norm, okay? And then, like, as you see, as we're on our patio, when we look, I said R. Yeah, it was R's. Yeah, because baby said we will be back. Uh, I'm here all the time, but I'm going to bring you back. I said, okay, well, yeah, well, no problem then. Let's do this again. <laughs> But as you can see, as we're on the uh, on the on the balcony, then you see the Palm Hotels where the other two towers, and those is like you know just regular rooms and whatever. But over there where we were at, and he was like, "Baby, this room was so tiny. This room was it's little. This is this is some Mickey Mouse. This is some this is some 
this is one of the smallest rooms they got over here. Because they got one or two bedrooms. They got penthouses and shit over there. Now, I don't know how many floors it go up to, but we were on the 33rd. I don't know what, how many, I don't know. But I had never been there before, so it was new to me. So I was like, oh my God. And walking around, you just, man, oh my God. I was like, is he from Grateful Dead? Yeah. I mean, it was, you know, it was some rock stars and shit just walking around. Like, you know, it was just regular shit, you know. They didn't want to be messed with. Wasn't no paparazzi, no, none of that. It was just, this is where they come to to get away. And it's away from the strip. Because, see, the thing is, staying on the strip is for tourists. I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? Basically, that's what he was saying. You know, I'm not a tourist. You know what I mean? So, I'm, I don't have to stay on the strip. So, then, therefore, I'm in walking distance on where I got to go. You know, I can have transportation take me, you know, wherever I need to go. I don't need to be right in the middle of everything. That is where the tourists go. We, we off of the strip. And then, therefore, we can breathe. You know what I mean? So, I understood. I understood the logic. It was still no problem. No harm, no foul. Baby, I had fun. And across the street is... A huge dispensary. Family. Oh my God. It was a dispensary across the street. And right on the top it said California. Uh, California, Nevada. Cards accepted. Yada, yada, yada. Man, it was a dispensary across the street. It was a Sonic across the street. We went to the Sonic. The young lady had some skates on. I haven't, I haven't had Sonic, I don't think ever. We don't have a Sonic in my city. Now, um, he was saying that down in L.A. area that there, there's a Sonic. I believe there's a Sonic in Rancho Cucamonga. But we don't have a Sonic out here. So I was like, okay. She came up on with some skates on. I was like, oh, okay. This is all right. But I had got me. Um, he likes juices. So he had got um, the first the first one night he had got. Um cherry limeade or something some shit like that and then another night he had got a blue raspberry something other something other but it was like a slushy type get down it was so good and i got pina colada because i just like pina colada so i got pina colada i had got me some mozzarella sticks i had got me some um uh, uh what else did i get from over there some onion rings and he was getting, like, these long-ass fucking hot dogs. I was like, damn, these like Dodger dogs with some long chili dogs and shit. So he was, he was fucking that chili dogs up. But, you know, so that's the kind of shit we was doing, man. We was just kicking it. I mean, we was just kicking it. It was just some all the way dialed down. He had sweats on, some tennis on. He was like, baby, be comfortable. Put your tennis shoes on. We, you know, we good. You know what I mean? And it was just, girls, oh my God, I have me a new friend. I have me a new friend that, and it's just, you know, and it was so cool because he was, and let me tell y'all, girls, let me tell you what baby said. <laughs> I'm telling, okay. Baby was like, shit, when we get back, when we get back, nobody. I was like, damn, nobody. He said, nobody. Ken, um, ex-husband. Um, whoever that is that's, that was in the military and whoever else that is that, uh, this right here and whoever the fuck that is that keep calling your goddamn nobody. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, for real? Is this how we doing things now? So I can't have no extra nobody, okay? Not to say that that's my get down or my flow because it's really not, but it just made me feel it with your way that, you know, he was like, he felt something about me to where he was like, shit, nobody. It's a wrap on all that. You know, it's a wrap on all that. Let them know what it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, you just make sure you take care of your end. How about that? Huh? While you telling me what I need to do, and he's sitting there watching, watching people watch me. Do, who, do you know who you're not? While you sitting up here watching people watch me, no. I'm, I'm tripping out that he's really... In awe with me. He is more in awe with me. And I'm nigga no name. You know what I mean? And he more so, oh yeah, I see him looking. And oh yeah, I see the brother looking. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He watching people looking at me 
And I'm just in the moment. You know what I mean? I'm just in the moment. I'm just having fun. I love water, so we watch that water show like two or three times. <laughs> but each time the water show comes on, it's like different music. Because it was Billie Jean one time. And then um, this kiss by whoever that is, Trisha Norwood or what, whoever that is. So then, there, and then therefore it came on again, and it was something else. And so it was like, you know, I just thought it was so beautiful, you know. And it was like, man, it was doing. And this was in the middle of the night, and so it was still, and it was so many people still out walking around. And so, but man, oh my god, oh my god, he had put some money in the slot. Cause we both don't gamble, so he was like, baby, I just want you to just hit this this couple times. I was like, so he put some money in there. I didn't win shit, you know what I mean. And so, I don't even know how, you know, I, I don't gamble. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I you know, I'm right here at a casino. And I, I've never pulled the slot over there not one time. Never played no bingo, no, no, no. I, I'm just not interested. You know what I mean? I'm just not, and he's not either. He's like, baby, when I come down here, I come down here to relax, get away from everything. You know, um... You know what? Something just hit me right. Something just hit me. Y'all niggas come down there because of all of the pussy that y'all niggas can get while you're down there. You think I'm not knowing? Because let me tell you something. Now, he had left. He had left in, um, um, he had went downstairs for something. I don't forget what. Ain't no telling. Anyway, so he had left when he came back. He was like, baby, there was some chicks in the, in the, um, in, in the, in the, um, elevator and you could tell that they wasn't really you know they they you know they was like the natives and they didn't know nothing about this life they didn't know where the hell they was going all they knew is they had a room number that they was going to and he was like oh my god and they were just in the elevator and they were just you know just chewing gum and yeah girl and if there's nothing I, ain't I, I was like oh my god he was like baby oh my god oh my god you know what I mean? Because over there is a lot of different people over there. So I'm like, okay. So they was getting ready to get dealt with, you know. And as we were coming in, come because we would come in and out through valet. And, oh, my God. I mean, we saw all kind of little niggas coming through there. You know what I mean? You know, industry cats that was just, you know, there. I don't know what was going on in Vegas um, this past weekend because there was a lot of people there. And I'm like, damn. Where? What? 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 What's going on? He's like, baby, ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. Ain't that shit. Us. That's what's going on. Us. <laughs> I was like, okay. He's like, shit, that's what's going on. Us. We ain't worried about them. We ain't on what they own. Let them do them. I was like, okay, yeah. I said, because it's a whole bunch, because it was a whole bunch of unethical shit was jumping off. In that hotel, in that whole, in, in, in that, you know, condo, um, in that tower. Oh, my God. Because I was like, you know, I think there's some call girl shit going on up through here. That might be the reason why this is where y'all spot me. You know what I mean? This might, y'all see May, you know, I'm telling too much. But, you know, you seen the Mayweather um, TMT, you know, van. And it was a lot of Mayweather people there. I don't know if he, you know what I'm saying, I ain't, you know, whatever. But, you know, um, yeah, it was a lot, of, it was a lot of, you know, but just look at the video, you'll see, you know what I'm saying, the Mayweather vehicle right there. So, that just lets you know that it was in, in there, it was all kinds of industry cats in there. And you're not just going to just be walking in and up out of there, because they really want to know, okay, do you have a room key? You're not getting ready, because first of all, you see when you come down, there's no slot machines and all that kind of stuff. Not over there. Now, when you come in through the towers, the other two, then, yeah, there's slot machines. All, just like a regular um, um, Las Vegas casino hotel, you know, there are slot machines and shit that you go through before you get to the elevators to get to your room. But in this, no. You got concierge services. You got ballet. You got, you know, it's strictly, you know, on a whole different level. Girls... I'm happy. Bottom line is, I'm happy. I'm having fun. I'm being respectful. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not trying to step on nobody's toes. You came to me, okay? So whatever the drawback is, I wasn't looking for you. You were looking for me, apparently. You know what I mean? Our souls pretty much recognize each other's soul, and we just connected from there, and 
you know, the energy has been shoot to kill, you know. Y'all, let me tell you something. What I did do, though, I badu that ass. You understand me? What I say by badu, because, you know, it's something about a woman that has strong spirituality. It's something about a woman that knows who she is. She knows how to work her yoni. She knows, you know, she just she's just so much knowing herself. And that is like Erica Badu. We run about the same age. In fact, we are the same age. And when you get to that place where, you know, I'm the prize. I'm a queen. I'm the prize. You know, you, you wear it all over you. And the men that she's once messed with, you can tell that them niggas was on a whole different level after that. Common, Andre 3000, they, they was, you know, all, they was tweaked out after that. And when I said that to him, I said, I'm going to do your ass before you get up out of this one. And I guess he thought that I was bullshitting, but y'all heard him on Thanks said, baby, it smells like patchouli in here. <laughs> he said it right on the camera as we coming in the room. He was like, baby, I smell that patchouli in here. Yeah, because I had all kind of incense and shit burning. I had incense burning, diffuser over here. It's lighting up doing this and that. He was like, okay, now what's that? I said, okay. That right there is dragon's blood. This right here is Frank Incense. I had him twisted up. Do you understand me? That right there is patchouli. That right there is, is sage. Yeah. Shit, I smudged the place. When we came in there, I smudged it. Do you understand? It just changed up the energy in the room. Look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about. But actually smudging is um, you changing up the energy of the room. Like if there was any type of uh, chaos in there or any type of tension or anything like that. I didn't want that around me. I didn't want that around me. I didn't want it around us. And it was like, you know what? We're coming together. This is some new shit. We're having fun with it. I don't want no outside influences fucking up what we got going. You know what I mean? So when we first got there, I smudged. He was like, wait a minute. Babe, what are you doing? I said, babe, I'm smudging this place. I don't, you know, I mean, we don't know. I don't know who was in here before I was in here. You know? And so... <laughs> I had him tripping. I had him going. He was like, wait a minute, what's all it is? Now, what is it? I said, oh, what is right here? This is bloodstone right here. You know, what, 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 what is that? I said, well, shit, this is my rose quartz. You know, he was like, wait a minute. <laughs> and I had my uh, jade and shit on. He was like, wait a minute, but baby. Well, well, what you trying to do to me? I, I ain't trying to do nothing to you. Just, re just relax. Shit, I ain't finna shake no bones or nothing over your head. If you don't relax, you know what I mean? He was like, well, wait, wait, what was it? Shit, but I'm the one. Shit, I'm the one. Shit, had to, I was like, wait a minute, what's getting ready to happen? Because for one minute, I don't want to get too graphic. Go get, get, do what? Let me, let's not even, um, let's not even go there because it ain't even that type of party. <laughs> I was scared to go there. <laughs> like, I'm talking about kids. Speaking of which, um, Ken been watching my videos. Hey, what's up, Kenny? How you doing, boo-boo? Hi, babe. Yeah. Um, how you doing? Yeah. Ken called me, what was it, yesterday, day before yesterday, and I hit him back with a picture. Um, I'll be back in the area soon. I ain't heard nothing else back from that ass. So, um, I'm sorry, Kenny. I don't know. You know what I mean? And not to, you know, not to discredit Ken or anything like that because me and Kenny shared a many years. We shared a, 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 you know, a distance. And we went a distance. But, you know, it just was what it was. You know what I mean? And I got tired. I got tired of going back and forth with you. Let me just be honest with you. I got tired of going back and forth. I know my worth. You understand what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And, you know, I just... I don't want to put up with the bullshit no more. That's just it. And that's all. No harm, no foul. I still love you from afar. I still think that you cool and all that other kind of shit. And all that kind of shit. But maybe, maybe we could still put one up in the air every now and again. You know what I mean? But anything else, I ain't got nothing for you, baby. And somebody else. We doing some other things right now. <laughs> hashtag us. <laughs> As baby say, hashtag us. And then baby said, hashtag us is hashtag nobody. Hashtag nobody baby. Yeah. 
That's how my baby sent me my texts. He said, shit, hashtag nobody. I said, okay, nobody then. Shit. So, anyway, girls, but um, on, on, on a faulty little note, um, I get a phone call and my daughter had um, somebody had asked her if she can use, if, if he could use her phone, a young man at her school. She handed the young man her phone and he proceeds to run off with it, okay? So, <laughs> so uh, I got to go take care of that. I, I need to go to the market. I got some things to do. So, um, you know, I'm going to go up to the school and, you know, and take care of that and all this kind of stuff. We had already, um, and, um, and shout out to Mika this morning. Mika had hit me up on Facebook. And so, because I was telling you guys about it yesterday. And thank you guys for really being concerned about my daughter and her, my daughter's safety and welfare. She's good. It's just the fact that, you know, her soul was messed up. Her dad had just bought her that phone. She had just got that, I think it's an iPhone 6 or something. And she had just got it, the little bigger one. And, um, and it's little rose gold. And he had just got it for her 17th birthday back in July. So, yeah, she's feeling, she's hurt that her phone is took and stuff. And so I'm, I'm going to go up there now. But I wanted to get all of this, you know, and talk about all this kind of stuff. Because once I get on this other stuff, I'm going to turn into somebody else. Because now you messing with my daughter. And I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be dignified. I'm going to be respectful. And all that kind of stuff in an adult manner. Um, yes, of course, she had that lookout or lockout or whatever it was. So we were able to, they were able to track the phone, know exactly where it's at. So, um, I'm not getting ready to roll up over there in my car. I'm not getting ready to step out over there in the hood and be fighting nobody over no goddamn cell phone. It's not that deep for me. <laughs> my baby is, <laughs> my baby is like, wait a minute, what you doing? <laughs> All right, honey, I'm coming. Okay, but yeah, I'm not getting ready to do any of those things. Okay, I'm not getting ready to do none of that. Okay, I got way too much to lose. From some nothing ass niggas that's out here still selling, stealing cell phones. Who who takes cell phones? Like really, I, I thought that shit was played out when I got five on it. I didn't know people were still still stealing cell phones. Where are they doing that at? But these are kids, you know. And this young man, he's not, you know. I mean, he's young. Cause how the hell are you gonna steal something and you still gotta go to that same school the next day? So I'm not really worried about it. You know what I mean? As I told Tony, I'm not worried about it. And just like my baby, he ain't worried about it either. We're we going to get her another phone either way. You know what I mean? But I am going to go down there as her mom and follow up on this with the school police and the authorities up there at the school and let them handle it because she was on their time. She was at school. So I am going to make sure that there's an adult involved and what's going to happen about this right here. I'm not going to come out of character. I'm not going to be fighting nobody's mom.